outlet right here and I want to kind of show you guys what these pink salmon are doing down there. folks so it is currently raining here in Valdez Alaska but man we're surrounded by these nice mountains in the back we're right in the middle of downtown Valdez area we're currently staying at the uh, Eagle Express campground we rented an RV for this trip uh, we're currently plugged in or hooked up I guess it's the terminology so we're just gonna go ahead and unplug our stuff and head over to the fishing spot so let's go uh, not so glamorous part of RV camping. So first things first, just going to take care of the uh, electric hookup. And here's the uh, the best part. We got the uh, the black water, uh, which is basically your stuff from the toilet, and then your gray water, which is basically all uh, the water from the shower and the sink inside the RV. Push those all the way in. Now it's time to unplug. But before we unplug, we're just gonna go and kind of shake the uh, hose a little bit, just to make sure that all the uh, the stuff in there are down in the drain. We don't want anything splashing back on us. Should they move away so I don't want to? <laughs> They're pretty good, so. <laughs> all right. There you go. By the way, I just learned this in the last 24 hours, so. <laughs> So we are back at the uh, fishing spot here at Allison Point Campground. This is our last day of fishing here in Alaska. We're here in Alaska for five days, but uh, we only have three uh, full solid fishing days here in Valdez, Alaska. We're definitely making sure that we take advantage of it. Targeting coho salmon, known as silver salmon. Yesterday we caught quite a few. I didn't max out though, I only ended up catching five. Had to go run some errands in the uh, town of Valdez. So okay, it's actually already down there. She's already fishing. Um, but this is basically the spot. And it's actually raining right now, which is pretty typical of uh, the Valdez uh, weather here in Alaska. Make sure you got your raincoat on. I'm currently wearing uh, waders as well. Not necessarily because I want to get into the water, but just to kind of uh, keep myself dry and stay warm. All right, first cast.
We are back in the car because we're gonna go back to uh, the downtown area of Valdez to go get our fish processed. Then we're gonna go to the uh, Valdez Harbor to get our fish filleted and then go to uh, this place called Fish Central to get them vacuum packed, sealed, and ready to go back to Seattle. back from the uh, Valdez Boat Harbor ended up processing our fish or actually half of our fish and then uh, when the uh, the cutters finally came in uh, they ended up filleting about seven silver salmon and then we took the rest of our fish the uh, filleted ones to Fish Central and had them vacuum packed sealed and uh, ready to go for tomorrow. We're back to the fishing spot now and gonna try to see if we can catch any fish today. Alright, so Kay just got a fish on. Gonna try to make my uh, <laughs> way through these rocks. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Came off? We just got a fish on. Look at that. Got a nice silver. All right. All right. In the net. Oh, okay. Oh, it's on. Woo! That's why I like it. Win the net. Alright. It's okay, just got another fish on. Alright. Both Kay and I just got a fish on. Just one for one or two for two. However you want to call that. <laughs> Check it out. Fish on. <laughs> and he's got a seaweed in the mouth. Oh, there you go. It's off. using a pig feed because I ended up losing my lure, not from fishing, but getting snagged on the uh, feet right behind me. So check this out. <laughs> the nice coho salmon. We have 
just finished saying goodbye to the crew. It was definitely a great three days spent with them. Definitely had a lot of fun with them. Uh, but we're now uh, here, right in the middle of Allison Point and the uh, hatchery down there on that road. But we've got this nice little falls uh, just right behind the camera right there. And then it actually goes out of this huge outlet right here. And I want to kind of show you guys what these pink salmon are doing down there. So check that out. I'm gonna try to zoom in. I'm just using my phone right now because it's, it's still kind of sprinkling here in Valdez, Alaska, which is pretty much the weather here. And look at that. All those are pink salmon that are trying to go back upstream. And, they, and I think they think that this is upstream for them because there's water flowing. But man, there's just so much of them. Look at that. And then once again, we're here uh, somewhere in the middle of uh, Allison Point and the uh, hatchery. So the hatchery is actually kind of down there. So you'll see the hatchery first when you come down this way. And over here on the other side is the uh, Allison Point right by where that point is <laughs> it just this place just continues to amaze me look at all the fish and then right across from us where you can see the lights that's the uh, Valdez boat harbor just look at that same thing here there's a lot of fish swimming down this way and they're all kind of aiming for that outlet right there see so there's a lot of fish just hanging out in that area first cast in this area as you can kind of hear from the video my bait casters I don't know what's going on with it it's kind of making this uh, raggedy noise which by the way you don't actually need a bait caster to catch these salmon i'm just using a bait caster just because i'm i don't know i kind of like using bait caster kind of gives me a little more control so k is using a uh, spinner setup right now and i'm using a bait caster but we're pretty much using the same type of lure uh she's using a uh are you using a pink yeah. pink uh vibrax blue fox vibrax yeah and i'm using a uh, chartreuse fish on Oh, it came off. Came off. Oh, Case got a fish on. <laughs> and it's a silver. <laughs> it's a silver. Uh, what is it about 10 minutes? Yeah, about 10. Already? Yeah. <laughs> We've been in a boat for some hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, by this time around, they're already on a shore. I mean, like close to shore. Where were you guys fishing at? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they're they're also inside the uh, that area right there. It should be. So just ended up uh, changing spots again. We're now at the very end of Allison Point and there's definitely less uh, big rocks in this area, but still gotta definitely uh, be careful with the rocks because you're gonna all of a sudden slip and fall and break something. So it's actually kind of getting late right now. It's about 9, 10 here in Alaska now and uh, as a matter of fact, there's really not a whole lot of folks out here now. Uh, there's only K and I, but we're still gonna go try to see if we can catch any kind of fish since it's our last full day of fishing here in Alaska.
so we are finally back at camp. Ended up catching a little bit more uh, coho salmon after we dropped off our fillets at Fish Central. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, process those fillets ourselves. So what uh, Kay and I ended up doing was we ended up filleting them on site uh, by the beach where we caught them. We've got the fillets right here and these are some big fillets right there. So for this trip, we actually ended up uh, bringing our uh, household vacuum sealer and it is the uh, Food Saver FM 5200. We don't actually have enough space in the RV, so what we ended up doing is we ended up setting up the Food Saver on top of the stove. So all the fillets are done, ready to go for the freezer. 